The exhibition statements on uh, identity uh, is a reflection of the massive changes that have occurred uh, within Maoridom in the last uh, 50, 70 years uh, of my life. And uh, the people who I was raised with are totally different to the Maori people I see today. Uh, some of the people I was raised with uh, were born in the 1800s and they often reminisced about uh, what happened during the land wars. So the oral history that was given to us as children uh, was from people who uh, in the 90s who were either part of the land laws in the, in the uh, early 1950s or us from parents who were raised by people who were um, experienced the land wars as they were. So for many years I've been trying to do a, um, a painting that expresses uh, not only the ecstasy of life but the pain of life and uh, then the regathering of history uh, and strength amongst the people to um, try and develop a future for us. So the painting Land Wars was one of the key paintings in the exhibition that expresses everything I felt, uh, all the emotions, all the knowledge, all the passion that was passed on to me as a little child growing up, and then my subsequent career within Maoridom. Uh, Hinirangi, of course, uh, is the witness to that. She's the, um, the woman who sees it all. And um, the Taranaki woman, is the equivalent of the land war paintings. Those are my two major paintings in this exhibition, that plus the land wars one. So they're the three major paintings. Hine Moana uh, is the daughter in oral history of uh, the moon, Mahine Rangi, and uh, also the sea, Tangaroa. And uh, one could uh, only imagine uh, uh, the memories you're at sea for many months or weeks and uh, the memory of your loved ones still on the shore. So this image of this beautiful woman uh, was something that came to me as I was uh, actually looking out to sea just off the coast of Porirua. Uh The Sons of Tane is, a, uh, is in memory of uh, the trees and the importance of trees to us. and. Uh, the trees are like our own ancestors because without them we get no oxygen, we don't survive like this planet Earth. Uh, and the massive changes that have occurred to uh, our people over my lifetime uh, constantly makes me uh, think of um, what's going to happen in the future because when I was uh, raised we didn't have television, we didn't have internet, we didn't have forms of communication or immediate access to a whole lot of knowledge of the world or individuals around the world. And uh, this painting, Mokopunga series, uh, was inspired by uh, the stories of um, Pukirangi Oropa. And I uh, wanted to, just for a moment, imagine uh, standing on the brink of the cliff there at Pukirangi Oropa and wondering what was the future of my people. And fortunately, my great-great-grandfather, Waitene Tongatara, decided as a young man that he would escape from the park. And uh, he lived. He lived to tell the story. And because he lived, I survived. I live as well. So Mokopuna is uh, the descendant who uh, ascend from the Moko of their ancestor. The uh, Mokopuna series painting I did uh, is a tribute to my uh, grandchildren and the fact that uh, their father is a Pākehā uh, who I love very dearly and uh, their mother, uh, my daughter, is the daughter of uh, my uh, Scottish-born wife who I also love both of them very dearly. And those future generations of um, grandchildren uh, will have to develop a new identity of what we call Māori, what we call New Zealanders, uh, what we call humans on this planet. The Land and Sea series is really uh, 
a reflection of all of those changes. We are like the land and the sea. Uh, the more the sea uh, merges onto the land, the more the land changes and the sea changes. Well, the same as cultures, the more cultures emerge and we integrate and uh, become part of each other, we have to take the best uh, from each culture so that we end up with a much better society. The Kairau Marae painting is, um, I did the carvings on it and uh, it was something started that the old people wanted to have there for uh, new generations to come. So the house is called, Whare uh, Kairo is called Te Hungaridiki and I did the carvings along the styles of Pablo Picasso and World Art so that it could make a clear statement of um, our Whakapapa from that house to the mountain behind because the two figures in it are from the Kahui Maunga people, Ronga Uiroa and Tamaro Te Hekatanga Rangi of Kahui Ao. And that statement of Te Kahui Maunga is the painting Te Kahui Maunga and it just shows uh, the reflection of uh, Tamaro and Ronga Uiroa and their son Awanui Rangi. Uh, given that name by Toi Kairaka, but it's most likely that uh, his parents, Ronga Uero and Tamara, would have given him a different name, but uh, Ronga Uero was basically taken uh, by Toi Kairaka's people. This, uh, the storyteller and the Red Spirit, um, the Red Spirit is really the history of the people, and the storyteller is a man who as both, uh, both his Maori side and the other side of himself. Uh, and in many ways it's a reflection of me because I become the storyteller. That we all become storytellers, all the Maori people today, everyone becomes a storyteller. But the Sacred Island series is really, uh, they really go together because it's a statement of Ngā Motu and the old pass sites all down the coast of Taranaki uh, and uh, regardless of who owns those or who appears to own those they still have the ancient history of our people which is unmovable. That's uh, where it started, that's who we are and the Fenua painting, Fenua is the name of course of a woman in the painting and she is both of the land and of the sky and of the mountain in the background. Atua, I spoke at length with Sam Kai from the Hawaiian Islands, he's a corner there, and, um, and uh, he talked to me about their interpretation of Atua. A is the breath, tu standing, A. Atua, the breath that stands beside you. And the Storyteller series, the four paintings with those, and that uh, was influenced by the uh, my, my huge interaction with Native American artists and uh, the way they transform their face and they take you on a journey. Well, our old people used to do that. They used to tell us stories of um, who we are as a people uh, and the fact that um, all this land still carries and always will carry the spirit of our people and that's what the Maori land painting is about. But the exhibition statements of identity tells the whole story of uh, who I am as a person and who we are as a people, as Māori people on this land, Te Ikaroa Māori or Te Aotearoa 